Hi, this is Julia King Tamang from Learn. Today we're going to talk about closing a sale. This is something that makes a lot of people nervous, and I think if you run the process right, you'll find that actually it's a moment of pleasurable conversation with the client. The first thing that you want to do is they've told you they have a problem. Reiterate that back to them and make sure that you've understood all the pieces. And if you haven't understood the pieces, then be sure to gather more information from the client's perspective. It's really in one way, their perspective that matters. So the next thing that you want to do is remind them about the impact of this problem on the company. So somewhere in your needs assessment process you should have talked about the impact on the company and right at the time of closing it's good to remind them of that. Their mind at that time will be on the cost of the training and whether or not they can get the political support for the training and you want to remind them they're buying something when they get that. The third thing is outline your sense of a solution. You're the educational expert and you're the one who can take a problem and turn that problem into an educational solution. But make sure to inquire with them and, and really ask the question, does this solution make sense to you? If it makes sense, then at that point you want to say, shall we do that? It looks to me like this thing makes sense. There's no coercion required. There's no fancy negotiation technique that's required. I never use that with clients. We've just talked about the problem. We've talked about their sense of the solution. I've brought my expertise and experience to bear. At that point, we're partners with the problem in the middle. And so I just ask the question, if I think it makes sense for us to do the training, I say, it seems to make sense to me. Does it make sense to you? And if it doesn't, then ask them, why, why not? What's holding us back? And they'll tell you honestly what that is and see whether or not you can fix that problem or reservation that they have. And if you can, then go ahead and, and fix that or you know, go back to your office and see what it would cost to make those adjustments. And if you can't, then always try to leave the door open. So to say today I haven't been able to earn your business, looks like I might not be the best match for the job at this time, but I hope next time you have a need you'll give me a call. And always close the sale, even if you haven't been able to earn the sale, leaving the door open because you want them to come back to you first if you don't win the sale at this time.